This is the uh, second test of my three-part test for, actually my four-part test on the uh, Coolant CPLN2 version 2. Uh, if you're just tuning in for this uh, particular video, um, the last video was W Prime 1024M at 5120 megahertz. We're going to run three Marco 5 oh, on W a Xeon W3570, so a Nehalem based um, processor. Uh, we're going to run now 3D Mark 5 at the same speed, 5120 megahertz, um, with a ASUS, a ASUS HD4890 for the video card. Um, all we're looking for in the video is just to see how the pot reacts um, through the various loads to this benchmark. 3D Mark 5 is primarily a dual core um, or dual threaded benchmark, so the, the loading isn't too heavy, so we shouldn't see too much of a, a delta between the two um, temperatures. This is the IHS temperature, and this is the pot temperature. As you can see, there's a slight delta between, the, or a slight difference between the two. Um, I believe right now this probe is actually reading a little bit too cold. Um, the fluke usually is pretty accurate, um, but for our purposes right now, you could say there's about this one's reading maybe a degree too colder, so maybe the IHS is around negative 64 Celsius um, and change. All right, let's get this test going. You can see the temperature is actually going down as I'm restoking the pot. Uh, one big thing with dry ice is that you can't just let it sit. You actually got to constantly um, move the dry ice around in the pot and press it against the base uh, to get the most effective cooling out of it. And you'll see that actually if I, if I leave it alone, then it should actually start to warm up again. Right now we've got a pretty impressive, um, almost non-existent delta between the IHS and the pot base. Um, goes to show exactly you know, how well this revision is performing. Uh, I just took the, uh, the numbers from the last uh, time I ran this test uh, on the CPU and 2 Rev1, and we were last time at 5 gigahertz at 1.5 volts. Um, this time we're at 5.1 at 1 at 1.525 volts, and last time was at negative 56 Celsius on the IHS. So this temperature um, that was the the average you know temperature through the test, and here we're at negative 64. So you can already see it's a monumental um, improvement in performance, and I have to say I attribute that to uh, one the base and two the sheer volume. Um, the original CPU and two, while not small, definitely um, wasn't what I consider to be a, uh, an ample size or an ideal size for uh, dry ice. Um, this pot though is monstrous; you can nearly fit a coke can inside of it. So plenty of volume and you can pack plenty of dry ice and acetone inside of it to help uh, dissipate all the heat from the benchmark or from the processor running the benchmark.
Oops, sorry about that. Slid away for a second, but uh, yeah, that was 3D Micro 5, and um, not, much, not, not much to it. The pot held up pretty well. Um, so now we'll move on over to 3D Mark Vantage.